Oh man, dude. Sheesh. Ooh. I was not in the military, but there is a saying, embrace the suck. Or in yoga, they say surrender. And I think the faster you surrender, embrace the suck, the better this course will go. So for me, it took about two and a half weeks. Long story short, I had a week where I did a little bit of studying. I went on vacation for a week. Then I came back and hit it hard. Almost every single day, I spent three to five hours studying. And then on the weekends, I spent straight up eight hours a day. C213 accounting for decision makers is kind of like getting into a cold pool. Really difficult to get into, but once you're in it, moving around and it warms up, it gets a little easier. Not gonna lie here, throughout this course, I hit some real lows where I was just feeling kind of defeated, depressed, but then I would just keep studying and push past it. And if I can describe accounting in one way, it's kind of like an onion. You look at it and you're like, okay, I mean, that's an onion, clearly but then you cut it open and there's just so many layers it makes you want to cry <laughs> Oh God. The thing with accounting is a lot of it is really logical. You know, once you understand the concepts, even if you don't know the question, a lot of times you can just work through it. 50% of the course was the three financial sheets. I took the pre-assessment and of course I failed. And then after that, the instructor sent me an email and basically it said, do one of two things, either read the text or watch the videos. The guy you keep hearing about, the Hawaiian shirt guy, just in every single topic there are short little videos i downloaded all of them and added it up 20 hours of video so definitely watch the videos at 1.5 or two times speed. I'm gonna say two things about the videos. One, he's a really good instructor. However, the videos are teeny tiny. They're 360p and he's just marking on them over and over and over again. And every video felt like it could be half as long. I hate to say it, they're just kind of painful. So here's the biggest piece of advice for you. And that is quiz yourself, quiz yourself, quiz yourself. I watch different learning guru videos and they basically say the same thing. Not about what you put in it's just about pulling it out of your brain and that's what makes you remember there are quizzes throughout each topic take that quiz over and over again there might be additional questions within that topic move on to another topic but come back to the older topic and quiz yourself again for me, ChatGPT was a game changer. I pay the 20 bucks a month, so I don't know if you can do this, the free version or not, but I would take text straight out of the quiz, put it into a Google document, export that document as a PDF, and then put that into ChatGPT and have it quiz me. And of course, you have to tell ChatGPT exactly how you want to be quizzed one question at a time, multiple choice. And then if there's a topic you don't know, have ChatGPT just ask you questions over and over again until you get it. And if you don't understand something, you can ask it, why? Tell me this in a simple term, why this is true. I did use some external sources like some LinkedIn videos and some YouTube videos. I'll put those on my website, but none of them were a slam dunk, like one for one. Like if I had just watched this, then I would have been good for the course. So for me, it was definitely using the videos within the course itself and quizzing the hell out of myself. After I failed that pre-assessment and another week of studying, I took the pre-assessment a second time and I did pass with a small margin. For the first time, I set up a meeting with a WGU instructor. I set it up for 45 minutes. He ended up giving me an hour. We went over every single question that I got wrong in the pre-assessment. Also, we went over some of the math that I just wasn't getting. There's an ABC math question, and he went over that with me until it made perfect sense. Speaking of math, there are additional resources within the course. One of them is the grid system for math. Definitely watch that video. You'll have a question and it's like, oh, find out the cash that we took in May. It puts it into a grid system. Definitely watch that video under the additional resources. There were several questions for each type of math question on the OA. The big thing that I would say too is understand your pre-assessments that you take and study those, but just don't learn those answers. You really need to know the concepts two long weeks and then a full day of cramming, I decided to take the test. And at that point, I was okay if I had failed the test to spend another week on this course. If you do fail the course, the instructor is gonna assign you homework. So I was okay to spend one more week working on this. 
I'll make another video about ProctorU. Definitely have your whiteboard, two markers, and any calculator will do. Also have something to erase the dry erase board. I just had toilet paper. And for me, it was 77 questions and it took me two hours. And after two hours, I ended up passing with a fair margin and it felt great to finally be done with this course. Now that I'm done with the course, I definitely feel good about passing it, but I also see a lot of these concepts are really important. And I could see using this stuff in my personal life, but also definitely at work. MBAs are about business and businesses, even nonprofits are about money. And accounting is clearly the backbone of money in business. It absolutely was not fun, but I am glad that I did it and it's over and you can do this. All it's gonna take you is time and quizzing your yourself. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe, like the video. Down below, there's a link to my unofficial WGU study guide where I've put on resources for each course. And man, there are just a lot of resources for this course. I hope you're doing well today. Take care of each other and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.